Good evening, Twitter. It's your boy, Waymond IV, and today I'm going to be performing a top secret deep dive investigation and quest to find door panel pockets for my 2001 Jeep Cherokee, which noticeably lacks them. From 1984 to 2001, the Cherokee saw no door panel pockets in any lower end trim levels because, well, they're Jeeps. They're supposed to be rugged beasts. Built for manly, hardcore, off-road exploration and rock trawling. And, well, door pockets might get in the way with all that. And technically, not having them is weight reduction, meaning an increase of 50 miles per gallon each door. But with the apocalypse currently unfolding before our eyes, I figured I'd start organizing my priorities, and since my room already has a ceiling fan, door pockets for the Jeep are up next. But first, I can already smell you typing in the comments one of two things. But Waymid, why bother modifying a vehicle that lacks something so simple and commonplace as door pockets? Even the Chrysler PT Cruiser has door pockets. What kind of hooligan would even think about considering a vehicle design without them? To which I say number A, the PT Cruiser also has an engine that tends to spontaneously, spontaneously combust. combust. And letter 2, consult the second comment. But Waymid, some models of the XJ actually did have door pockets from the factory. You could just find one in a junkyard and replace the whole panel, and then our miserable souls wouldn't have the luxury of watching this high-quality content. To which I say, first off, finding a Cherokee with door pockets is harder than getting struck by lightning in space. Secondly, thanks for the compliment. Yes, it is true. Throughout most, if not all, model years, the four-door Cherokees in the limited trim did offer door panel pockets. And although few and far between, across the lands and hidden within the occasional garage, lies a Jeep whose owner is unaware of the rarity they possess. Now because my Jeep is currently undrivable without door pockets, I have no way to get to these unheard of places to find these mythical door panels anyway. So I started looking around for aftermarket ones. To my astonishment, people have actually made them. Some with cup holders, too, and they work for any model year, two-door or four-door. So I was pretty excited about this until I realized not one seller still makes these door pockets. No one on the entire internet still produces and sells them. They are nowhere to be found, only in images, which are probably photoshopped anyway. Seriously, do you think such a beautiful thing can be real? I am firmly convinced door pockets don't exist. So then I thought, what can I do about this? How on earth am I supposed to get my vehicle running and drivable? I could just buy some door panels on eBay for almost a quarter of a thousand dollars, but then how am I supposed to afford my rear seat cup holders? I'll make my own. Better yet, I'll buy office organizers from Walmart and pretend I made my own. For $5 a piece, it may seem overpriced, but these metal paper storage boxes not only fit nicely on the door, they also have the perfect clearance with the seat. On the two-door models, you could fit two of these next to each other because of the larger door, and even cut the ends off and weld them together to create the door pocket of all door pockets. The possibilities are endless when you have an XJ, which is one of the many reasons it's the best car ever. So let's get to work. We're going to need dikes, pliers, both kinds of screwdrivers, a cutting utensil, some tape, a drill, applicable drill bits, a sharpie, and these are the bolt washers and nuts we're going to be using. I don't know exactly how bolts are measured, but uh, that should help. We'll start by removing the door panel screws, one here at the handle and three under the armrest. Some models have another screw up here in this corner. Next, pry off the bottom and the sides of the panel with a screwdriver because I couldn't care less about panel clip pliers. Once all the clips are free and half of them broken, lift up on the panel to raise it out of the lip by the window. Don't lift up too far because we'll disconnect the wires and door handle mechanism next. To get this off, swing the plastic around as such and lift the bar out. Our panel is now free.
Next, we'll line up the conveniently black painted storage device with the optimum location on the panel. I wouldn't put it towards the bottom because I'd imagine you'd still want the door to close. I'd also put it more towards the front of this fake vent thing, that way we can still access the seat lever when the door is closed. On the pocket, tactically cut out holes by the two mounting points. This can be done with dikes and is the hardest part of the whole project. When enough grid is gone, stick a bolt through and see if it fits. I'll use tape to mark the final resting place of the pocket on the panel and carefully estimate a screw hole with a sharpie. This will be secured to the door panel by two screws, but you can use more if you feel necessary. On the panel, drill through the sharpie marks using a small bit at first and larger ones until you reach the desired size for the mounting bolt. Make sure you check the alignment on the panel after each drilled hole. I'll start with a 9 ths Once you're through the plastic, you'll hit insulation. Stop drilling, find a small stick that'll fit through the hole and poke down on it like this. Then use some sort of cutting utensil to carve a hole in it and push away the extra. Now we'll drill through the other side using the larger bits, 1 4th, 5 16th, and then 3 8th, which matches the bolt size. After that's done, we can insert the bolts through the holes to hold the pocket to the door panel. Don't forget the washers. Throw a nut on the back, tighten her down, and you're done. Mostly. With that, lift the door panel in place, reconnect the wires, handle, and lock mechanisms, then lower the panel into the slot by the window and firmly press it in. Snap all those clips in, insert the screws, and stand back to marvel at this astonishing creation. Close the door while inside the vehicle to check that it fits, and it's important not to forget to grab it, shake it, and vocally announce, That's not going anywhere. Now repeat the same thing for the passenger side unless you don't care about your passengers and then congratulate yourself for being a pioneer in the door pocket industry. Now you can store seatbelt cutters, assorted random music discs, and fast food napkins that are a year old 
right next to your seat. 